Hi, I'm Kinkas, and I'm a Synth DIY guy. Continuing on our series on easy beginner modules, let's check out the Frequency Central Volts Plats. This one's a little more work since you do have to solder the very simple circuit board. No cheating with pre-soldered SMD on this one. Still, it's very simple and quick and incredibly versatile and useful to have in your system. It's basically a mixer, but through the clever use of amplification stages, LED clipping and normalizations, you can also use it as a distortion module, a rudimentary wave shaper, an offset generator or an inverter. This does not come as a full kit. Rick from Frequency Central was kind enough to send me the parts needed so I could make this video. Thanks, Rick. You can get the panel and PCB set though, and the short bill of materials is online along with the build guide. To build it, I started as usual with the resistors, soldering them from above, then turning it around to trim the leads and touch up the soldering. Next came the caps and the IC socket. I normally soldered the corner pins to secure the socket before soldering the rest. Finally, the power header, and we can move on to the panel components. Snap on the IC first. Snap on the LEDs, minding their polarity. Then place, but do not solder, the bottom three jacks and connect the jack grounds to the respective pads using some leftover resistor leads. Do the same for the top three jacks, followed by the switches and the tall trimmers, but don't solder them yet. First, place the panel and tighten the nuts on the jacks and switches. Make sure the tall trimmers are turning freely and don't rub against the sides of the panel holes. Push the LEDs through their holes, just enough for the rounded tips to stick out, and bend out the legs to keep the position. Now turn it all around and solder away. Check the power header for shorts and plug it in to test. So let's see what this can do. Alright, so let's check out the volt splats in action. So first let me set up a little voice here. Why I'm not getting any sound? Of course, because I have to now turn up the volume of the volt splats here. So there's that voice. Let's filter it some more. Now let's listen to that clipping. Turn down the volume a little bit here. And let's go first to two, two times amplification and turn on the clipping here. There you go, it's already quite robust. Interesting sounding. Let's make the envelope longer and the pitch lower. So yeah, without clipping, it sounds like this. And as I turn the clipping on, sounds like this and now 10 times now this is much more distorted very cool so we're applying it as distortion after filtering now here's a really neat trick These two channels on the volt splats, number three and number four, are normalized to voltages. So this one is normal to plus eight volts and this one to minus eight volts. So by adding this offset, I can sort of alter the wave shape. You get from this like tinny little sound all the way back to the full clipping sound. Oh, that's pretty gnarly right there. So if I send the 
control voltage to this input right here, to any of the inputs actually, you can sort of simulate that that offset that I did manually just now. So let's do that. Let's set it an LFO. I'll take an LFO from the filter 8 right here. We'll send it to input 2. Bring it up. bring down the channel of number one here and get almost like a VCA or a ring modulator action here. So definitely a very unique mixer. It does things you normally wouldn't expect from a mixer. Two, clipping down, it still distorts if I turn off the LED clipping just because of all the amplification, but it's definitely a different character. very interesting unique utility and of course you can just use it as a regular mixer if you leave it on number one here turn the clipping off and you have the advantage of being able to use it as a utility not only as a mixer but sending offset positive or negative offset to the mix and therefore you can use this for modulation sources like send an envelope and uh, LFO to a filter for example and then you can use these two one of these two knobs to offset either downward or upward you know, positively or negatively so cool this is the volt splats I hope you like it if you do you can get it directly from frequency central from Rick there are no kits available yet but you can get a panel and PCB set and the BOM is pretty simple there's not a lot of components in this module so Again, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit like, subscribe, join my Patreon, support the channel. See you soon and stay noisy.